Welcome to the WCNA Bootcamp Challenge 2. You need to click on the Documents button up above to the right to download the WCT02BCC.PDF file. That's the challenge worksheet where you can place your answers. After the challenge description on the next slide, go ahead and pause the video when the Pause Now button appears. Then fill out your challenge worksheet and press play to continue the video when you're ready to review the challenge answers. I have a picture of a Wireshark screen. The trace file open is tr-cnn.pcapng. There are 11 letters placed around the screen. When you download the challenge worksheet, place the letter next to the area that represents the Wireshark function or description that's listed. Go ahead and pause the video now to fill out your worksheet. Press play when you're ready to go through the answers. All right, let's start going through the answers on this one. Number one is annotate the trace file. And that would be the bottom left-hand corner. You can see the icon that's a piece of paper and a pencil. So the answer would be I. Number two, right-click to add a column. Well, that's something that we do in the packet details pane. So we have the letter H next to a stream index line, and we could right cl mouse click and add a column that way. Not a default column is number three. Well, if we look at the columns that we see up above in the packet list pane, there's one that is not the default, and that is the request method column, so G. Number four, export a range of packets. That is something we do using the file menu item, so the answer is A. Number five, view conversations and endpoints. That's a feature of the statistics window, so it's under C, statistics. Number six, determine the current profile in use. This is a pretty easy one. K, bottom right hand corner, it says profile default. Number seven, add buttons based on display filters. Well, this would be the filter expression buttons area E, just to the right of the display filter area. Number eight, locate your personal configuration directory. That's something that we can do using help, about Wireshark, and folders, so the answer is D. Number nine, Hide the hex bytes window. That's something that we do using the view menu option. So the answer is B. Number 10, hidden by default. Well, that would be the wireless toolbar, F. Number 11, number of packets that match a display filter. That's something that we can get looking down in the center of the status bar. So the answer is J.